Game Maker, how to draw a little inventory box that shows you what you have and how many of those items. And of course, not just the number, but a little bit of graphic with it. Um, I'm going to do an ugly version, but it'll give you the idea of what to do and how to make it nice. Uh, there's another video that shows another way to do it. This is just one version. Okay, here we go. I'm going to show you what I've added. I have this object called global. It's made some global variables for me. If you don't know what those are, go watch a video on uh, drawing global variables out. I have coin count, burger count, and apple count. Those are going to be my three things in my inventory. The player's already been set up so that when they hit an apple, their apple count goes up by one and it destroys the apple. And I've done the exact same thing for the burgers and I've done the same thing for the coins. Okay, so we have just three objects we can test out here. Now, here comes the drawing. Now, notice I did make these variables global to make it a little bit easier. I've got this draw object. I have it in the room. Sitting right there. No, sitting, no, sitting right there. There we go. And this draw object is going to be responsible for drawing my inventory menu. So, let's go to the draw, add event. You know that the draw events, the place we do our drawing. And let's add a little bit of code. Now the code here actually will get a little long. I'll try to type fast so it doesn't take too long. But here's my basics. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to draw, set color. I'm going to draw my text in black. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set my horizontal alignment to the middle. So any text I draw is centered on the spot I name. And I'll also set the vertical alignment to FA. Whoop, I've done this backwards here. Horizontal is sent to center. And the vertical also set to center. There's a little video called uh, Draw Alignment. It talks about these two commands. But they're useful here. It'll make it easier to draw them in the right spot. Now here comes the drawing drawing. What I want to do here is I want to draw out my icons so that if I have the object, it's going to draw out a colored version and underneath it, it should say the number. Now you can see here, I have apple colored and I have an apple sprite, black and white. Same thing with the burger. Same thing with the, where's the coin? It's like I'm blind here. Okay, I haven't done it with the coin yet, but I'll do it with the coin after really quickly. And so the first thing I have to ask is I actually need an if statement here. I have to know, am I drawing the black and white sprite or am I drawing the colored sprite? So what I can do is, is I can just ask my quick if question. If global dot apple count is bigger than zero, I'll just draw out the colored apple here. Now to draw the sprite out, there's a nice command called draw sprite. This is one of the commands you can use to draw out the sprite. And you see here it wants a sprite the sub image, and the X and Y. So let's give it Sprite Apple, the colored version. Sub image is what frame of the animation. If you don't know anything about this, just put negative one. It means, who cares? Just draw the sprite out. My Apple Sprite anyways, it's only one frame. So this number doesn't matter. Now it wants an X and a Y. I'm going to sort of try to choose a value here. I'm going to say, let's start at 100 for X and 30 for Y. Now, no matter what, I want to draw out how many apples I have. So this line's draw, sorry, draw text. Um, I want to draw at an X of 100. And let's make this above it. So let me draw really high up. So at a height of 5. That may be a little low. We'll see what happens here. We'll draw at a height of 10. And what do I want to draw? I want to draw global dot apple count. And remember, I do have to convert it to a string because it won't draw out the numbers, right? You have to convert all your numbers to strings. Now, you'll notice here I didn't do the black and white drawing yet. I just sort of want to test this one out, see if it works. So let's go. It's always good to do your code in small steps, right? That way, if there's a problem, it's easy to find where. Now, no apple, no apple. Oh, there we go. I have an apple, and you can see the one, two, three, not too badly placed above it. 
Okay, now what happens if they have no apples? I'd like that just to be the black and white version. So let's get that working in there. I'm actually going to drop the apple down a bit too. Whoops. Let's just drop the apple down to 35. This is where I can use my else command. If I have more than zero apples, draw the colored version. Else, draw a sprite. S, apple, black and white, negative one. And of course, put it in the same spot. And then we can draw the text afterwards, no matter what. Let's give it a go. I find this is a good little draw technique for uh, when students do weapon selection. It's not bad. But you can see I have no apples when I pick it up. Now I have the colored version. Very good, simple visual feedback in games. Okay, and telling you how many you have. If I were to eat apples, the number would go down, eventually turn black and white when I run out. So nice little effect. Now, how do you do it for burgers? How do you do it for coins? Well, you guessed it right. It's pretty well the exact same code. All I'm going to do, really, is copy-paste this. Let's save ourselves one line. I'm just going to copy-paste this, but pick different numbers. And I'll just change this to burger count. And change that to burger. And change that to burger. You have to be careful when doing this. And change that to burger. This is where it's easy to make mistakes. And of course with the burger, let's slide the burger over maybe to 150 in the X position. Now if I've changed everything right, burger should be working too. And there are my burgers. Oh, but I didn't change a the number there. Let's quickly go down here. Right there. 150. And then it should be working okay. Get the burgers. You get your apples. Everything's working well. You draw some nice fancy rectangle or some other sprite behind there. You know, a nice bordered sprite. So it looks good. A bit fancier font. Not a bad little system. I won't do the coins because uh, you probably get the idea. It's just another copy paste. Thanks for watching. Uh, there's another video how to do another type of inventory, uh, draw inventory too. You should check that one out too. A little fancier.